All right, Lily, what do you, what should you get first, a table saw or a track saw? Uh, purple medicine. Purple medicine? Sure, you heard it here first, folks. All right, table saw, track saw, what you should buy first if you can only buy one tool, why I recommend buying both tools and what I bought first and why I'll never give up either of these tools. Let's get into it. All right, two pretty high dollar tools. We've got the table saw, we've got a track saw. If you buy quartered versions, they're usually gonna be a little cheaper. I run completely cordless as far as most everything I own. So of course, uh, we've got the cordless versions here. 36 volt Makita track saw and the table saw. I'll link descriptions of both tools. I have reviews on both of these. Link them in the description, maybe throw a card or two up in the, in the, the top right corner. Uh, all right, so. You're basic. If you're trying to decide which one you should get first, I'll go straight ahead. I don't like people beating around the bush. I would buy a table saw first. A couple reasons why. Um, fine tune, very fine cuts. If you need to take off just a sliver of something, maybe like a 30 second, you can do that with repeatedly with a table saw because you have the adjustable fence. You have, you can go back and forth with this and just do fine increment adjustments. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that with a track saw, but it's a lot more pain in the butt. You're going to have to measure, cut, you know, you're going to have to just kind of just fine tune the track just to get to where you want it. And there's a little more margin for error for that. I like the table saw, but break, breaking down, you know, material, you know, any pretty much small material. Like if I need to, you know, cut that, do a 45, I'll use a miter. But at the same time, if I need to take off some of that, that's what I like it for. Does a track saw do it? Yes, it can. But again, with the fence that's obviously square, you've already measured it. It's, it's great on the, on the actual table itself. It's level with the blade. Uh, you, it's, you're going to get repeatable cuts with the table saw. And I'm talking about job site saws. I'm not talking about those huge, you know, 500 pound grizzlies or, you know, those ones where cabinet makers use. I, I have no experience with those. I'm talking about uh, job site saws where you can bring them to the job site. They're on wheels on a Polk station like this one is. I absolutely love the table saw for what it is. Um, very portable is I, you know, you're, you're trimming out stuff, you're building decks, you need to rip down something real quick on, on smaller, thinner pieces. A table saw is great. Now, do I want to break down plywood or any kind of four by eight material on a table saw? No, I don't. I use the track saw for that. And that's where the track saw shines. Not only that's not the only way it shines, but you can do cross cuts a lot easier. Um, it's just, if you just need to, you just need to square off an edge much easier to do it with a track saw than a table saw. It definitely saves you time. You can bevel. Uh, there is so much you can do with the track saw as well. And you can do those minor, minor trims, cuts that I was talking about with the, the uh, table saw. It's just a little, it's not as efficient. Absolutely not as efficient. That's why I have both tools. Efficiency is key on the job site. If you can swing it, these are not cheap. I think this goes for 450 bear tool, the, the Milwaukee table saw. I think you can get the uh, track saw the Makita 36 volt track saw with a couple batteries and the, yeah, I think this is a 52, I can't remember what, what size track it is, but you can get that, I think around 600 bucks, but link in the description if I can find them. Uh, they, um, they're not cheap. These are definitely professional grade. Uh, you're not gonna be a weekend warrior with um, a track saw because you, it's, it's a significant investment for sure. Uh, other things I like about the track saw, Portability, you can cut straight edges. Another thing, like say if you're already on a deck and you need a straight line cut on a deck to edge something out, slap your track down and you can make that straight cut right then. You cannot, that's absolutely something you can't do with a table saw. Um, you, it's job site portable with both of these tools, but you can bring this onto a deck, cut certain pieces um, just right on the deck itself, which is great. Um, 
If I need to, I can bring it over to my workstation, slap something over and just run my line straight across, be fine with it. And it's a little easier to run off angles as well. So if I need to, you know, make a 30 degree uh, angled cut, table saw, not so much, track saw, lay the track down, measure it, you know, four or five times, make sure you're good, zip it down, you're done. Um, so that's why I absolutely love the track saw. But if I was going to buy just one tool, I would definitely buy the table saw first only because it gives you the most potential for earnings. You can't do all the work you can do with a track, uh, a track saw with a table saw, but you can do a lot of it. So, um, you know, if you're doing fascia, you're doing certain, you know, you can rip down stuff and it's repeatable. Absolutely 150% repeatable because every time you rip down a piece of plywood, you've got to take the track off, move your, your cut over, all that kind of stuff. If you set the fence... You can check it. It's going to be fine as long as you have a, a serviceable tool that doesn't move. The fence doesn't move. The rack and pinion system doesn't move. You're going to be fine. You can just keep ripping down pieces wherever you need to. So <clears throat> now, if I was you, I would definitely buy the table saw first. You save up money. Use the table saw to pay for itself and save up money to buy the track saw because it's just going to make you that much more efficient. I'll never be without a track saw. I, it's, they, they are fantastic. Ripping down plywood is where the money maker is at if you do that kind of work. And if not, I know cabinet maker people, I know fine woodworking, they still have track saws because it's the convenience factor of them. They're so nice, straight, smooth cuts every time. And the only thing you have to worry about is making sure you put that track where you need it to be. So that's basically what I have on these two tools. Definitely, definitely uh, look into it. Um, this is the Milwaukee M18 version. They make, there's so many job site table saws out there. Uh, very, very easy to make money with a table saw, especially a job site saw. Uh, I mean, honestly, like just in my own house, these are going to get replaced. And that's why if we're doing fascia, anything like that, you're going to need a table saw because you got to match certain cuts. Um, cause nothing, you know, sometimes houses are like five and three eighths and you're like, well, okay. So five and a half is not going to cut it. We got to rip it down. You can do it with a track saw, but having a table saw, we can just adjust the fence, measure once, set the fence, be done with it, and you can just cut all day long. So track saw, if I need to make an off-angle cut, rip down plywood, um, I always reach for the track saw. Anything, I do some decks, and if I need to make sure that corner is cut directly the other way I want to, the track saw is getting used, and the table saw doesn't even get looked at. So that is all I have for this little, I hope I answered some questions for you guys. I do get a couple of these. Um, they are high dial items, but they are an investment and they, they just magnify your skills as a tradesman, as a carpenter, as a business owner, all that good stuff. So that's all I got for this. Like and subscribe, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate it. And remember, all these tools are always purchased by me and not sponsored in any way. So use it, abused by me, purchased by me. All my money is invested into this. And that's my opinion.